Millionaire goes broke overnight. What happens next is shocking. Oh, nine. Might be all for you. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll take another lap around the store. Your wife sure loves to shop, huh? Yeah. Um, would you mind turning that up a little bit? Do you go, Digger? Sure. Thank you. Lehman Brothers is going bankrupt, and financial markets from Asia to Europe are doing their utmost to prevent Monday from turning from dark to black. Yeah. Damn, Employees of man. America's Lord be Lord, man, though, be horrible if it went to black. You know, like, like there's nothing worse possible than than going to black. You know what I mean? Like, like what could possibly be worse than going to black? Like, oh my. Fourth largest investment bank saw the writing on the wall late Sunday after talks to pull them back from the abyss collapsed. Hey, honey, uh, you really need to get all of that? Oh, well, I thought you just closed a big deal. I mean, yeah. But... Yeah, I did. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> that was, yeah, I, I did. Me. <laughs> yes, girl hasn't closed. That means that I don't get paid for like another week. Maybe we should just like kind of... It'll be fine. You know what? Maybe you could just use your credit card. Please, please, please. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Gotta do it now. Huh? Uh-uh. So, so what do you think? Oh my gosh. It's perfect. <laughs> Aw, great. I, know. I love this house. I've had my eye on this for a while. It's, it's a dream home. Hey, don't try to outbid us now. <laughs> hey, I couldn't even if I wanted to. This is way out of my income bracket. <clears throat> so, can I submit an offer for you? Let's offer them 3.2. Mm. 3.2 million? Mm -hmm. But the asking is for. Yeah, but you've seen the news. The economy is on its way down. <laughs> so, might as well lowball them. See what they say. Oh, uh, yes. It's four. Let's lowball them 800,000. You know it's just 800. Okay, bro. Huh? Oh, by the way, have you heard from the bank yet about our loan? Not yet. Um, but with your 800 credit and your 20% down, it should be a slam dunk. <laughs> like so. <some> that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have to worry about well, looks like the bank's ears must be ringing. Let me take this. Cal, give me the good news. So thinking. What do you mean, not approved? Did you? <laughs> what's, what's going on? Down 1.7% here, a loss of 37 points or so. Apple shares are just getting hammered this morning. We're down by between 3 and 4.5% generally across these markets. Let's no. talk about the speed with which we are watching this market no. deteriorate. The market's crashing! Dar, man, do you know some information we don't? Why, why, why are you uploading this now? What do you, what do you know? What have the elites tell, told you? A body do you feel like, do you feel the need to share with the rest of us common folk? I, I don't know, man. You, it sounds like you're trying to say something, bro. Thank you, Zora, for the sub, but like, like, Darman, what are you trying to say? Down by four, five percent. We're down over 16 percent. Dow at the same time. Uh, Dow at the same time. Dow at the same time. Keep looking, Timmy. Look, I'm sure you're going to find the right piece. Oh, you know it's old when you have to whip out the fucking newspaper. That's when you know. This is when you know. When, when was this? Uh, I think Abraham Lincoln just passed. This one won't fit either. Then find it, buddy. I'm never going to finish this puzzle. Well, that's hey. what you get for being stupid. <laughs> You're going to figure it out. Hey, bud, what do I always tell you? If you stick with something long enough, then... It will eventually work out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Besides so drugs, you know. You know, you do drugs for a while. I don't, I don't think it's going to work out, buddy. Up yes. and now, and now your son's an opium addict. Look what you did. You were supposed to encourage her to encourage him to be great things, but you, but you didn't. You weren't specific enough. Now, when he a kingpin and, and and he he got your booty locked up. Yes, I did it. <laughs> <High five. laughs> 
Stephanie is parking, so we should go right now. I want to get there early before the reservation so we can take some pictures out front. I want to show off my new bag. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we should just cancel the babysitter. You know, I mean, we could stay in today. I'll make us something. Giovanni's is just so expensive. I mean, with this economy thing going on but right I now. I thought maybe... you just closed that big deal. I... Yes, I did. So it's my money. And I said, I want a PB&J with my fucking child so I, and finish the puzzle with them. Are you dismissing our child? You don't want to spend quality time with them? I want a divorce. Like, he did. It just hasn't hit yet. I talked to escrow, and they're saying it any minute now, so. So we'll be fine then. Dad, I don't want you to go. Oh, well, that's enough for me. <laughs> that's enough. What he said? Okay. Hey, hey, bit, I mean, wife. You heard her son, right? <laughs> like, sorry, bud. Look, uh, I'll play with you when I get back, okay? Okay. Wow, you guys look great. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Not bad for five months pregnant, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on a lunch date. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like get you. Go. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds. Aren't you going to tip her? A hundred dollars? Is that not the tip? What, what do you mean, tipper? What, is she babysitting, what, five hours, twenty dollars an hour? I think that's fucking fine to me. She hasn't even done her job yet. What do you mean, tip? That's not how tip works. You don't tip before the job's done. What? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Go. Thank you. I know for sure I'm not about to get peer pressured by my wife to spend money. Hell nah. You gonna peer pressure me? I, you better be selling some feet. <laughs> gonna put some ring on the rings on them nipples and start selling those pics like. Do you, my lady? Mmm. Delish. I told you it'd be worth it. We should stop by Mastro's on the way home for their butter cake. I'll see if Stephanie can stay an extra hour. No, I think we should get going. I promised Timmy that I'd hang out with him, so. I'm sorry, sir, but your uh, debit card didn't go through. That's weird. The deposit was supposed to hit by now. You can take my credit card. Hi, uh, Kathy, it's Alex. Yeah, um, uh, any update on the wire? It seems like it's still not in my account. What do you mean the bank's never funded? Everyone just signed the docs. Oh. Wow. No, I didn't, I didn't know that. I did not know. What happened? Oh, okay. All what right, thank you. I mean, because I already know, I'm already assuming the news, so I got the divorce papers ready for you. You know, if you ever want to proceed with, you know, the, the right thing to do. Uh, getting away from this woman. <laughs> Washington Mutual, the bank that was going to do the loan, just shut down. The deal's dead. What? I know, I know. I needed that to go through. I, I have no idea what we're going to do now. I have no idea. Well... I, don't, I really don't want to hear you talk. I, I truly don't. I don't know about him, but I don't want to hear a word out of you. Worst case scenario, there's a lot of equity in our house. Okay. And is there any additional income, such as your wife? Uh, no, she, she's a stay-at-home mom with uh, another one on the way. Great. Okay, uh, let me talk to my manager and see what we can do. Thank you. All right. Wife, you might have to get a job. 
Gotta start, you might have to start pulling Look, over. I know. Um, you know what I'm saying? That this isn't ideal. But when Corey arrives, maybe we can have your mom move in with us. You know, so you can work. Yeah. They've been talking about this great recession for years now. I'm worried. I... I just don't think it's a good idea for my mom to live with us. Yeah, and I don't think it's a good idea for us to be broke on the street. Which which idea do you think uh, sounds better out of the two options? Cause cause I I put I made a pros and cons list, and personally I don't want my son Timmy on the streets eating rats. Okay. You've seen how I could barely handle her for a weekend. You know, once a second loan goes through in the house, that should hold us over till everything goes back to normal. Why do you think that? Give me proof, give, give me some reasoning behind that thought. I just spoke to my manager and unfortunately, Mr. Reynolds, you were not approved. And I've been with you for 15 years. Do you know how many clients I brought here for loans? I mean, there has to be something that you can do, something. If it's my income, that's the problem. No, 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 it's not just that. It's your home value. What happened? You're it, underwater. You see, your current mortgage balance is higher than your home's worth. That's not possible. I just got it appraised six months ago. I have at least 200K in equity. Maybe six months ago, not today. So wife, what about that, uh, you remember that home equity you were talking about? You are talking so good, so sweet about? What about it now? So, so look, look what's about to happen. We about to get your ma, right? We gonna find a, we gonna find a nice ass trailer and you gonna get your ass to work. Nah, okay? That's what, the, you gonna get your ass to work, okay? <laughs> Everything's changing. Hi, this is Brian from BMW Financial. Your last payment of $568 didn't go through and your account is now considered past due. Alex is stressed, but what he doesn't know is th everything. Everything's hitting at once. You gotta sell the car. You gotta sell the house. You gonna have to start taking a bus from now on. Your wife gonna have to take a bus too. A pregnant wife on a bus to work. That is a ho that's a horrible situation. Things are about to get a whole lot worse for him. More banks close as the real estate industry tanks. Before long, Alex starts falling behind on bills. Yo, being an adult is so stressful. He can't keep up and ends up losing his home. Being an adult is just so stressful. Isn't this like the, um, was this the 0809, it was the 0809 crash? It was like a housing crash. It was terrible. Yeah, my mom, my mom said it was fucking horrible. It, it did everyone dirty. Of course, if you're rich, you're okay. But when you're not like rich, rich, this, this struck down everybody. He moves into a small apartment for his family of three, soon to be four. And it's too late to abort it, bro. His baby boy, Corey, arrives. Even though it's supposed to be one of the happiest days of his life, Alex feels something he's never felt before, a panic attack. It's so bad that he has to rush out of the room. Just say it with me, Chad, say it with me. There's only one way to get out of this. Adoption. <laughs> Adoption. <laughs> His heart races. He finds himself having a hard time breathing. He can't believe his financial problems are now turning into health problems. Oh, no, bro. As the pressure mounts, Alex Drinking? now has to rely yep. on prescription oh, medication God. to help him with his anxiety just to make it through the day. Does this wife work yet? She gotta work eventually, right? Yo, Darman, I'm liking the depressing plots now that I think about it. I've only, you've only hit us with straight depression. 
You know what I'm saying? I, hold on. He hitting us with depression? Overdose? Anxiety? Hold on. Darman in his bag. I'm forgetting that it's Darman. A few years go by, and Alex isn't ready to handle what's about to come next. Hey, Dad. Since you closed that new deal, do you think we can go to Universal Studios sometime? Oh, yeah. Please, please, please. Oh, uh, guys, you know... It was a small deal, so it's just enough to hold us over. So I think we should just... Alex! Hey, uh, Timmy, can you watch your little brother for me? Wait, what is this, what is this broad about to say? What is she about to um, say? You know how I've been feeling really nauseous lately? I finally figured out what it was. Okay. We're pregnant! How how does your your dangling skit still get up in this economy? How? I don't understand how how you're broke with two kids and your dangling stick still gets hard. Like at this point, you need to give yourself a erectile dysfunction. Oh no, bro. There's only one, there's only one option. She caught it early. She caught it early. There's only one option. There's, there's, there's only one option, bro. And did you believe it? I was like totally shocked. I'm like, Why are you happy? Right. This has gotta be a false positive. I know this can't be true. Maybe I need to go to the drugstore and get a couple more. You need, really you need to go to the drugstore and uh, plan B it. No. It's too late. It's too late for the plan B. Alex? Are you okay? Ah. I mean, we we talked about trying for a girl, right? Um, I'm, no, I'm I'm happy. Is this is nigga talking? Tweaking? I just don't know how I'm gonna keep up. Like, you tweaking? I just feel all like a horrible father and husband. Oh. No, 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 no. You have a horrible wife. You did make a terrible decision having this baby, though. Okay, that, that's on both of you. I don't know why you would do such a thing. But your wife is bad, too. No, don't ever say that. I know you've been so stressed out lately in the past few years, but what you know is, what? I'm going to be by your side bro? no matter what. And... She is still here after he went broke. I will give her that. She is still here. I know I said no to this before, but my friend Maggie works at a marketing company and she told me they're hiring, so Okay. I'm thinking about applying. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I appreciate that. Redemption. But even if you worked, you know, the cost of the nanny would be your salary alone, so I mean what's what's the point? Oh no, nah, he breaking. <laughs> he breaking he breaking. This. I need to get through this you by myself, it. okay? I need my mess. He's breaking, bro. Here goes. We're seeing a nigga break live. Come on. The bottle? The, what, wait, the, the whole bottle? Is the kid about to see his dad overdose? <sighs> yeah. oh, okay. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's all right, bud. I'm fine. Tad, I'm old enough to know that something's wrong. Can you just please tell me? It's just that... These past few years has been really hard. Ever since the real estate industry crashed, it just... My friends and my co-workers even told me, just move on. Just find another field. Just wish that I would listen to them. A long time ago, man. Give up? <laughs> Dad, you can't give up. Yeah.
You remember when, when you had that puzzle piece and you may have called me stupid. You have may have called me dumb, but you also said I could figure it out and not to give up. That same dad is overdosing? You, you're a bitch now? No. <laughs> that goes against everything that you stand for. Yeah. I mean. The things you always told me when I was young, or hit a ball, or ride a bike. If you stick to something long enough, yeah. then it'll eventually work out. And, and guess what I said at the beginning? I thought I was talking about drugs, but I was talking about the son being on drugs. But it's not the son who's sticking to drugs. It's the dad. So, so in some alternate universe, I'm Einstein mixed with Picasso. But in this universe, I'm just a Negro Einstein because I can't draw. <laughs> and alas, if you were just saying that and you didn't mean it, no, oh, I meant it. I really did. Then you can't give up. I believe in you. You're the smartest and hardest working person I know. I don't believe in you personally. You figure this out. I don't know if you're making I that promise. to the end of this video. I love you, bud. Come around. Love you too, Dad. I love you so much. Look. You know what? Why don't we go over there? Right? <laughs> With a little boost from his son, okay. Alex decides to keep on fighting and never give up on his career. Even though he continues to struggle with self-doubt and anxiety, even though he continues I'm just trying to tell by his posture, the way he dresses, his watch. I'm trying to just tell if he's a he, he touches children or not. Continues I can't to tell. Struggle. He's he's like I don't know. He has this mysterious aura. Go with self doubt and anxiety. He pushes himself through it and keeps on working. <laughs> and then soon is found out that he was a human trafficker. <laughs> As a side hustle. <laughs> no. Several months later, he welcomes his first baby girl, Bridget. Are you done? He's excited, but more kids means more expenses. The pressure keeps building up for Alex, even though his family does everything they can to support him. Hey, can you please get your tubes tied? Okay. We have two boys and a girl. We don't need no more. Please. Please tie them things up. Okay. Why can't we can't do it again? Several years pass and Alex continues to struggle, but little did he know things were about to change. Okay, change in what way? Like, like he's about to commit? Like, what are we talking about? Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Damn, this nigga grown. A few years later, how long is a few? How was he? How old was he in the last clip? The lines were insane. Like everybody's fighting over uh, toilet, toilet paper, paper <laughs> cleaning products. It was like people are preparing for the apocalypse. Oh, kids, could you go in the other room? I want to talk to your dad about something. Okay, mom. Kids, that is a grown ass man. <laughs> what did he just spray himself with? You saw the notice on the door. Yeah, I did. Look, I'm closing in on a deal, and that should hold us off for a while. That's what your wife said. I just can't help but thinking that it's only going to get worse. I mean, everything is closing down. Restaurants are completely shut down. I mean, I don't see a future in real estate. I don't. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. But either way, we're going to figure it out. Yeah. She is still here. This nigga been struggling for the last 10, 15 years, but she is still here. I will give her an A plus on loyalty. I will give her that. She may have horrible financial advice, but not everyone's meant to be a financial advisor. So, so you know what? I think she's, she's definitely redeemed herself enough for me.
Have you guys seen the news? Dozens of industries, Look. but when it comes to real estate, Southern California houses are moving like never before. In December, the statewide median home price was more than seven hundred seventeen thousand dollars. Median? Nearly seventeen percent from December of twenty nineteen. Okay, yeah, that's cool, but that's the median. Damn. Damn. Wow. But the high sale prices aren't the pandemic is away. actually helping real estate. I, I, I would have never you, imagined this would happen. Well, it makes sense because everybody's being forced to work from home now and interest rates are low. So, yeah, oh, hold on. Hi, right, this is Alex. Yeah, you want to list your house in Bakersfield? Yeah, I'm the guy. <laughs> Oh, this is great, but guys, you know, this is happy and all. He had to go through 10 years of being depressed to get to this point. The crash happened in 09. This is like 2021, 2019. It's one of those two. He had to wait 10 years. That is insanity. No, I could set something up real. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh hold on for a second. Hey, Chris. Yeah, it's been a while. I... On sunset, of course. After over 10 years of barely scraping by, I love that. Alex's real estate business is about to turn around. Over the next couple of years, he closes more deals than ever. He makes more in a month than he used to in an entire year. What does that mean, though? Like, give me numbers, bro. I like pocket watching. I like counting people's money. What does this mean? But out of all the deals he closes, he could have never. I guess he. I guess he forgot the time where he went broke. He did. He did this all like within a year or two, bro. You forgot the time you went broke. Y'all were literally scraping by two years ago. How did you get to this already? Never imagined this next one would be his own. So, what do you think? It's incredible. Is this your new listing, Dad? No, it's not my new listing. Well... <laughs> so wait, COVID was a good thing? <laughs> this dad, this dad probably like, thank God for COVID. Man, I love me some... <laughs> like, <laughs> he praising COVID, bro. It's our new home. <laughs> this is the best. I know. Oh. Alex, <laughs> long time, huh? I heard this house was on the market. Hey, if you have any qualified buyers, I'd love to help you with the loan. He doesn't need a qualified buyer. He is the buyer. Oh, well, if you're looking to get in, I can finance you. The banks are really, really eager to loan right now, so... I just uh, closed on escrow yesterday. It's all cash. But thanks, Nate. I, I appreciate it. All cash? I don't even think that's a smart thing to do. That don't even sound smart. A house all cash don't smell smart, but, you know, you, you do you with your money. At least you won't have to worry about a mortgage. So, no, no matter what, at least you're not losing the house, so... <laughs> all cash? Wow. Hey, congratulations. Thanks. If you ever need to pull any cash out or you know anyone looking for a loan, don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, well, it was good seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can't help but wonder. I mean, how'd you do it? Didn't we already say goodbye, bro? Walk the other way. Last time I saw you, you were in a pretty bad spot. My nigga, that was 10 years ago. A decade. You thought I was going to be the same person after a decade? No, nigga, we move up. <laughs> we grow, we prosper. I started selling my wife's kidneys. <laughs> I sold my liver. My little one don't even know, don't even know that we sold some of his souls. He thought he was born without him. Like, what do you mean? Honestly, I thought you'd give up on this real estate stuff just like so many other people have. Yeah, I was. Then my son, he reminded me that if you stick with something long enough, then 
eventually work out. <laughs> I, I still can't believe, I mean, after all those years of struggling, how we're here right now. It's crazy. It is. It's God's blessing. Well, again, congrats, Alex. I'm happy for you guys. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> he turned around so he was guys, like, that should have been me. That should have been me. I continue with this real estate stuff too. Why isn't that me? I'm literally here being an agent. This should have been me. I have one more surprise for you. What happened All now? Right? Tickets to Universal Studios. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go and do a little tour of the house, and then uh, we'll head out. All right? Cool. I am so proud of you. Since we're going to Universal, I know there's gonna be a lot of crowds there. Do you need your... I don't need them. I don't. I've been working out, I've been meditating. Yes, sir. I feel better now than I ever have. Yes, sir. I feel so good that I think that we should talk maybe about how- I know you're not about to say the BS I think you are, bruh. I know you're not going to say the BS that I think you are. Hell no, nah, you're not about to do that, bro. Having baby number four? Oh my God! You're not done? Well, that, my dear, might require a different kind of pill. <laughs> uh -uh. Honestly, three is more than I can handle. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> we went from the wife at the beginning not having common sense to her being the smartest character here. That's W development. <laughs>